All right, we're making good progress today. These must be the photographs taken by some young adult inklings. Are these so-called twinklings trying to convince their peers that they, uh, that they appear that their lives are exciting and full of meaning, or they're just trying to convince themselves? They're probably influencers, probably for the most part. All right, <laughs> influencer inklings. All right. Well, aren't Inklings already influenced by the by the fall because they're trying to keep a good um, good being fresh and whatnot? I would say that would be the case. All right, let's try to level number four thirteen. Actually, yes, time to go to the next level. Huzzah! And we got to the dancing floors. Ink switcheroo. Oh yeah, that's this is the level I was thinking of. This one we get an introduction to a new weapon this time around, folks. And it's a weapon that I don't personally enjoy. It's kind of broken on certain occasions, though. The Splatling. This thing can turn you into a one squid army. It's the hero Splatling. Holds the yard to charge it up, then release the button to unleash a big old stream of ink. Charging it up leaves you pretty vulnerable to attack, though, so be careful. So yeah, this one you have to charge up the gun in order to actually use the ink on it, so. Of course, use weapons or use enemies that are sort of like you know fast-paced. Gonna heal. Certain uh, splatlings actually in the multiplayer can actually t can actually keep a charge. The hero splatling though cannot do that. So bear that in mind. But I think it might or might not. I'm still figuring that out myself. I yeah, I don't think we can hold a charge. Let's see. Hold a charge? Nope, we can't hold a charge with this. So, so use the charge whenever you're out of the uh, ground. Climbing into the sky! And the splat things to death. <laughs> well, no, really. Nothing really dies in Splatoon Universe. They just get splatted and they just respawn. Unlike that samurai, that, that squid is... No, that that octo that octo uh, samurai is dead, <laughs> unfortunately. And charge up and go. All right, let's go here. Uh, where we need? Uh, yeah, it's not over here. Let's go. Yeah, this, the the uh, sanitarium in the scroll in this place is kind of little in the little irritated spot. It's not in the best of places. So th I think there's like one level where you basically don't get access to the uh, to the scroll until you get to uh, until you get to, like to the very end of the stage, and it's like and it, and it makes you nervous. Gonna hit this thing all the way out, so we can get up here. And now we got now these switches are always a. Uh, Sort of this old weird timer thing where you just have to hit them for a long period of time and then have to keep hitting them so you can have enough platform to get around on. There we go. Definitely the squid game indeed. Oh, I gotta get over there. Ooh. Man, it really feels like we're actually playing a game. <laughs> oh, we have to get up here. We can just jump up here. Seridium right there. Yeah. Thought I got ya? Thought you missed me, huh? No. No, sorry, Bob. Let's get up this way. Now, this place feels like you could hide something down here, and there really isn't anything down here underneath this uh, grating. There's a few traps, like of the uh, the sprinklers and whatnot, and some, uh, some Octarians. But other than that, though, nothing really much is down here. Also, it's funny that there's actually no, uh, no scroll down here. You think there would be, if you know how much ink can be hiding a box or something like that. Oh, I'm out of ink. No, I'm gonna have to deal with it. No. Well, at least if you run out of ink, you do restore it from time to time. It's, it's not as fast as when you're actually, you know, in the ink itself. Just gotta just dot the landscape here and uh, get around this guy. Uh, I want to say one of these surfaces has it. 
Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to see if there's actually a server that can climb up on this thing. Gotta watch out for this guy, though. It makes you come up here, so there's got to be... Ink there. This is a little tricky to find. Just, it's like there's like one service that you can climb up on, because you need to climb up on top of this guy. And I'm trying to figure out how, where is that thing? It's not over here. Maybe there's a way you have to come down here. Maybe I'm missing something. I probably am in some uncertain degree, folks. Bear that in mind. Yeah, I'm contradicting myself all the way across. Oh, I see it. Okay. See the grapple points? I hate those. Because they blend into the environment so well, and you can't see them unless you want to start looking up. Hey! Why is it? You need to move! There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're out of the way. That confused me a little bit, folks. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, this is the one I'm thinking of, where you have to climb up on the on the guys here. The the scroll is on top of one of these little pillars, and now you have to get up there yourself. There's a key in the back on one of these things, so you got to get up there somehow. I think there is. There's one surface you can climb up on. Oh no 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 no! no. Back away! Back away! Ha! At least you can't walk off ledges. Ha 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 ha! Now let me see if I can find that surface. Oh, it's a key. Oh, I'm doomed. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that was close. So there's a little spot down here, so you're not... Gonna... Again, the game is not unfair. Like, the game obviously gives you a way to get away from any type of situation that you come across. I do want to say that is a warp. Yes, it is. We need to get on top of this thing here. So I need to find... Because it wouldn't make this thing so expensive that you wouldn't find anything. Because up there is where our scroll is. Let's see... See, now I'm trying to figure out which one it is. And now I'm having, now I'm having second thoughts. Oh, I'm getting confused with splatlings. Only on the Altman channel. And that bloom does not help in the slightest. I know you have to get up on top of these. Oh wait, do I have to I have to get him sunk in the in the ink, don't I? No. Ah. <laughs> so you have to get on top of these things. That's the only way to get up there. Oh, right. Oh, I'm an idiot. Ugh, grapple points. That's what you have to do. <laughs> Here I am just wandering around aimlessly trying to figure out how to get up there. Like, oh, right, there's a grapple point I need to get up onto. Again, it's something I just kind of forget it's there. All right, well, now we can move on. We now got the scroll. We're out of here. Zoom! The next checkpoint. It's not the final one yet. And now we got those switches are back. Woo! Uh, we, we, you went too far. No, no, no. Get back up there. Oh, what's hitting me? Someone's got an ink on me, huh? I need that armor. Ink up a storm. Oops, here we go. Give me those eggs. Yes. Here we go. Woo. Up and down all around, folks. That's all we gotta do. Again, the splat thing is not my favorite weapon. It's like it's like it's the other one on top of the uh, the charger, which I'm not very good with. 
So I try to not have to use it whenever necessary, but I have to in Salmon Run. Oh no! I'm gonna die. Die! Oh, there's our first death of the day. <laughs> At least I get more eggs back. <laughs> do, 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 do. I gotta hit this thing a little bit. Gotta get rid of this guy. Oh boy, Ooh. at least I'm not dead. And that bloom does not help. <laughs> Ugh. I know Nintendo has like, loved the idea of bloom ever since the Wii U era, but man, there's sometimes you just gotta tone down the bloom, especially in points where when you make a level with this, and it's like, I can't go anywhere because the bloom is so good. Oh, I just died myself again. Oh! And that thing is back because it resets back to the first checkpoint. This plat this platform this platforming challenge is not that hard. But I think it's that bloom. I blame the bloom on this. I really do. I hope I don't die again. That means I have to do a complete level reset. I don't want that. I have to get to a checkpoint or get my lives back. At least I'll a life back. Ooh, goodness. If I could just get this level. If I could just get this little hit a little bit this way. There we go. I can jump. I can jump there. Yes! Alright, now I got a life back. Woo! Alright, cool. Oh, I thought I was gonna panic there for a moment. Now the final checkpoint. This one's gonna be a little a bit of a doozy because now we have to avoid the thing like the plague. So just plan, just get your path out as best you can. This spotlight does have some range, so let use that to your advantage. So let the thing come back around here. You have to go this thing around so you can get away from it. Oof! Oof! That was close. That was death. I was staring death in the eye on that one. Ow! Hey! You need to get off your high horse and let me have it. Ooh, as much as I want that. <laughs> that, that is not in a good position for me to get into. Jump up here. It's about I can't get it with ink. Go, my steed! This way! I have a bit of a, a stigma to grab that little bad boy right there. You see, at least there, they told they, they showed me an arrow where I have to go, which you know shows me where I need to ink up at. It's like they didn't do that. They didn't do that for the others, so unless I was mistaken. All right, come on, yes. All right, let's get out of here. Get rid of this weapon once and for all. Yahoo! Not bad. 11 minutes? <laughs> That's almost, I almost took almost an episode and a half of that one. <laughs> Let me check that weapon data. Yep, it's coming through. Really good stuff. The more data you get to me, the quicker I can finalize my retail version. So, uh, yeah. So again, you play every level with this weapon and you get this in multiplayer. I guess they wanted replayability in that regard. The most fashionable gear is crafted with the latest of, tr of tractile technology. Heating materials produce smooth curves and distressing stiff frag uh, fabrics to increase suppleness and change their look and common techniques. That's basically how the armor is so, you know, fashionable and whatnot. All right. What we got here? Uh, we got two level 13 and out of 14. Let's go 14, baby. Level 14, the parking garage. Drive to the finish. Or wait, wait, let's go to the car wash. How about that? Oh, uh, there we go. Into level 14 we go. Let's go. All right, we got the hero charger. Oh, yeah, we have to use the hero charger on this one. Uh, all, right, all right, if I have to use it, it doesn't help. The bloom is killing my view. 
This level is pr this level is pretty bad with the bloom. I'll say that right now. Again, bloom is nice, but when it's used over abundantly to basically that it's added as a uh, as a difficulty for a, a level, that's not that's not good level design. That's just basically make me have to go get some sunglasses in order to actually see the game. Ooh, so down here we get some tasty, tasty power eggs for our liking. Jump. It said jump up there. Okay. This is more like a car wash than anything else. Well, I think there is actually is a level that's actually a car wash. I want to say it's either this or the uh, Octo expansion that shows it. I can't say for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the car wash. Yeah, I was right. Parking garage, my foot. It is a, it is a car wash. It's an ink wash. Let's go up here. Oh, I could have gotten those eggs. I got three of them at least. That's good. This is also where we get action to more Octolings just being in the levels instead of just having their own stage. This doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen, it gives you a, a slight different change of pace. They actually have enemies that actually will fight back. But they have automatic weapons and you have a sniper rifle. Oh. You. Give me those. Give me that ink stuff. Now, just make sure to keep a good eye out on where you need to look around. Because, again, you need to find those scrolls and the Ceridium. Go up here. Because one of these spots is where the, the scroll is at one spot and the Ceridium is at another. Like it always is. And we got a sniper we have to watch out for. Got that armor? Nope. Ooh, this way. This way, here we go. There we go. Jump down. Okay, now jump down. We just, I believe, yes, the Sarah Demon is, uh, I think it's right over there. We need to watch out for that. We can't take that sniper out until we get to the other side of this area, so. Swim like, <laughs> swim like nothing else. Ow! Oh, he saw me, though. That's the problem. I lost a little, little bit of my armor. No! Yeah, let you. Yeah, you're not gonna. Swim. Now we got. Uh, now we got Octarians there now trying to swim in ink. Not sure what the reasoning is behind it, but still, you know, let them. Uh, let them swim in their own ink. Octarians. I don't think Octarians actually can do like the the uh, the squid form or the octoly form like others can. So uh, I guess this is their their means of doing it. Here's your scroll right here. Okay, oh, thing to have that thing you just did. I was totally paying attention. Yeah, thanks, Marie. It's not like I need to save the world or anything. You know, she's probably listening. She's, you know, Marie's probably listening to a podcast while this is all happening, and then she has to just take a quick glimpse at you, like, oh, oh, right, right. I was, I was totally paying attention to what you were doing, Agent Four. Goodness. Right, we gotta get down this way. Now we can actually get access to that, to that sniper. Go up here. And death to you, sniper. And you hold the key for us to victory. I will gladly take that key, thank you. And we're off. Uh, now we gotta use these switches. Uh, get used to these little uh, button switches. Their game is going to love to hide these around to basically to hide those uh, elusive elusive uh, scrolls in Sarah DM later on. So, get used to looking around for small ledges. They, they're they're slight of pain in the backside. Especially for one level. That's kind of a little bit of an irritating uh, slog to go through. Because you can't find the scroll for the entire level and you find yourself at the end of the stage and like, where's the scroll? And there's like this one little switch you have to hit, just so it's like, oh, so that's where it is. And it's like, oh, there's another ticket. Can I actually get over there with this side? Well, I'm pretty sure I can. Oop. There we go. Oop. Let's see what we up here. At least this part of the stage is not bad because you're covered by uh, you know roofs and everything. But see, look at we have those switches. Again, the game's gonna treat you like, hey, 
you gotta remember to look for these switches. This is a brand new, brand new mechanic, and you better look for them. It's not like we're trying to look out. We're not trying to look at the sun or anything or bloom. Get rid of these old Octo Octarians. Meh. You. Yeah, they also look there's some enemies hiding in the ink here. Watch out for that. Yeah, you can't you can't win against me. Surprise! You haven't broken any bones. Well, squids don't have bones, so never mind. Well you could well no, Marie, you're not technically wrong. Cartilage could be considered a bony material. It's just not as stiff as bones in the first place. Which I wonder that she's gonna finally see bones for the first time when the third when the third story pops up. I can't get up there. No, ah, can't jump up there. Have to get. Oh, I can't hit it from there. Okay, back up the lift. Up the lift. Zoom. Uh, you know, and it's you know they sit uh, they, they see cars here, so obviously you know the Mario Kart is technically canon to the Splatoon universe that they can indeed drive cars. Yeah, the Serdiums over here. You see, we're at the final checkpoint, and yeah, we haven't found the Serdium until now. They love to do this. It, it gets you really intense because you're just like, I haven't found it yet. We're at the final. We're at the final spot. Where is it? It's right here. No harm, no foul, but still. It gets you in that nervousness that you've tried to comb the entire area, inked everything you could possibly can, you still haven't found it. Ugh, it gets me, it gets you almost every time in the later stages, and it's annoying to boot. Uh, up here we go. And I got some more of that stuff. More of those power eggs. We actually might have enough to actually upgrade our weapons. I should have done that, but I haven't done it yet. Give me my rainstorm. And now where is the jump pad? Where's the, the vault? Oh yeah, the vault was all the way down at the bottom. <laughs> you got a key, but where do you use it? It's all the way down at the bottom. Huzzah! Right here. Out of the car garage. Off to victory! Oh, I missed it. Oh well. I don't think I'll miss it. You made it! Grab that zapfish and let's get out of here! No worries there. 